Hello. Let's look at the second example on differentiation using product rule. So let's say I have that y is equal to 4x squared plus 3x multiplying 6x cubed minus 18. Um, let's say the part 3, for instance. All right, so I'm asked to multiply, I'm asked to differentiate this. Um, the case is this. I'm seeing that this 4x squared plus 3x is multiplying this 6x cubed minus 18 all to power 3. All right, so at this point now, I will use product rule here. Why? Because this is multiplying this. So we said you use product rule. What I have, two terms multiplying. So since this one here is multiplying this, I will now employ the concept of product rule. So we said for the first thing here, for this, I will say, let u be equal to what you have here, 4x squared plus 3x. Next up, I will differentiate u with respect to x. So I will have that du all over dx is equal to, this gives you 8x plus 3. Next up, I will say, let v be equal to what I have here, um, 6x cubed minus 18 to power 3. Right, so I have this. Um, I'll differentiate this, but observe that this case now looks like a problem on chain rule. All right, so for, for me to differentiate this now, I will use the chain rule shortcut. Please, if you're not, um, if, you're, if, if you are not familiar with the chain rule shortcut, please refer to my previous video on shortcut to chain rule. All right, but before then, we said for the shortcut to chain rule, what you do is this. First up, write out the power, which is 3, multiplied by, differentiate this. If I differentiate this, it gives me 18x squared, constant 0 is off. Next up, repeat this. If I repeat this, it becomes 6x cubed minus 18. Next up, subtract 1 from 3. 3 minus 1 gives you 2. So this is now equal to, if I multiply this, this gives you um, 54x squared into 6x cubed minus 18 or squared. Please, if you're not sure of what I did here, simply refer back to my video um, on chain rule shortcut. The link to the video is in the description. So just check the description, you see the link to this video. All right, let's proceed, please. At this point now, I'll recall my product rule formula. Recall that from product rule, we said dy over dx is equal to v du over dx plus u dv all over dx. At this point, substituting values is now equal to, we have v, v from here is equal to this so it gives you um, 6x cubed minus 18 all to power 3 so here is v into d over dx d over dx here is equal to 8x plus 3 plus u u is this 4x squared plus 3x into dv over dx so this is my value for dv over dx, which is about um, um, changes to 54x squared into 6x cubed minus 18 all squared. Right, so I have this as the value for dv over dx. Next up, if I work on this now, I'll take this, I'll take this one first before this. Right, so it gives you this first. 8x plus 3 all into all of this that's 6x cubed minus 18 all cubed next up plus i'll take this first i'm having 54x squared into this 4x squared plus 3x then finally into this i'm having 6x cubed minus 18 all squared 
if I look at this now, there's a like term. My like term is 6x cubed minus 18. There are two of it here. There are three of it here. So I'll take out two of it. If I take out two of this, that's 6 x cubed minus 18 all squared i'm left with this now becomes um 8 x plus 3 into this is cube i've taken up two from this so one of it is left so it becomes 6 x cubed minus 18 for this plus for this now i'm having 54 x squared into what i have here 4 x squared plus 3x observe i've taken away two of these here so hence this man is totally off and i'm having this if you wish you could expand this and simplify if you wish but you can still stop here and it's still correct so this becomes um, your answer to product true differentiation of this question so this is how it's been solved